A lot of my childhood memories come from the earlier entries of the Grand Theft Auto series. GTA 3, GTA San Andreas, GTA Liberty City and Vice City stories on the PSP. Man, that thing was ahead of its time, I swear. But that's for another video. Now, a lot of the fun times I had from playing these games comes purely just from using cheats. I don't know about you guys, but as a kid, I did not give one hoot about the story. I just wanted to do dumb stuff that made no sense in the game. But there was one game in particular that I reckon had the best cheats, and that game is the one and only GTA San Andreas. If you don't agree with me, well, it's okay to be wrong, I forgive you. I remember my older brother and I would go over to our friend's house almost every day and would play GTA San Andreas on their PS2 for the whole afternoon after school. And every time it was my turn to play, I'd pull out the paper with all the cheat codes that were handwritten on there. We were absolutely spoilt for choice with the amount of cheats there were to pick from. If you're after a bit of nostalgia or you never got to experience the cheats in this game, this video is for you. Today we're going to go through my favourite cheats from GTA San Andreas and the memories that come with them. And obviously I'm referring to the original GTA San Andreas, not the definitive edition that removed all the best cheats that this game had. Now with that out of the way, let's dive in. There were so many vehicle cheats in GTA San Andreas, but one that I would always use was the spawn monster truck cheat. Taking this thing up the tough terrain out in the countryside always made for a good challenge. But like with most cheats on this game, they get better when you mix them with other cheats as well. Monster truck plus NOS or Nitro equals King of the Road. Just absolutely mogging anyone in my way with the sheer size of this thing made for some good times. And man, it sounded cool. This next one, I think we've all done. I like to call it Mad Dog Mode. Mad Dog, you mad cunt! Fuck off, dog! It's a combination of three to five cheats depending on the difficulty you're after, but it combines the Spawn Rhino cheat with the Weapon Set 1 or 3, as long as it had the RPG, and it also combined the six star wanted level. So with Mad Dog Mode enabled, you are now ready to cause absolute destruction upon Los Santos and the LSPD. You could roll around blowing up everything in your path with a Rhino tank, or what I'd commonly do was go on foot with the RPG and just rapid fire this thing. The two extra cheats that made it easier was definitely unlimited ammo, as well as the infinite health. This was just absolute mayhem. I'd always go on top of the building and just start shooting down the choppers, trying to see how long I could survive. Some of my other common vehicle spawns included the Hot Ring Racer. I never got sick of hooning off Mount Chiliad in this. The Hydra and the Hunter were also common spawns for me, just to fly across the map while causing absolute chaos. And then I'd always use the cheat for the Vortex Hovercraft. This was such a cool vehicle to spawn in. You'd just be sliding across any surface and you could even use the Nitro as well on this. Now all I'm saying is, if we don't see the hovercraft in GTA 6 with NOS as well, then something is seriously wrong. And finally, I think one of the best spawn vehicle cheats would have to be the jetpack, if you class it as a vehicle anyway. I could not get enough of this fine piece of equipment. There was nothing as satisfying as running across the ground while accelerating with the jetpack. I feel like the flash with how fast I'd run across the terrain. The cheats for vehicle effects, however, were where things got super fun. As I mentioned earlier, a cheat giving all cars NOS is brilliant. Spooking or aggravating the NPCs would result with them absolutely boosting off with NOS on their cars as well. But it got even better. Probably my second most favourite cheat, the flying cars cheat. Now this cheat would not only just work for whatever car the player drives, but also the NPCs as well. So you can kind of see where this is going. Literally, if any car was going fast enough, it'd just take off into the sky. This was the funniest thing to watch, as you'd just casually see a hillbilly in his country ute or pickup truck, as you Americans call it, just shooting off to Narnia after a hard day's work. While this made for a lot of fun, my absolute number one favourite cheat in the game has to be the floating cars after collision cheat. I don't know why, but as a kid, I found this cheat so fascinating. I'd always go in the tunnels and hit vehicles so the roof would block them from floating up. That way, as they're floating through the tunnel, I could try and get in or on top of the vehicle so I could float up with it after leaving the tunnel. It's actually nuts how long this would keep me entertained for. All I wanted to do was just jump on top of a car while it was floating up and it seemed like the most impossible challenge. I also enjoyed a lot of the other cheats such as spawn faster cars for NPCs, invisible vehicles and traffic lights are always green. Man, it was just fun to watch. 
But here we're getting more into the cheats where you just absolutely love to just watch all the drama unfold. These cheats in particular I'm talking about would have to be with the pedestrians. You could change what the pedestrians wore, the type of pedestrians that were on the street. Seeing Alvis everywhere was brilliant. You could even recruit pedestrians with RPGs. Or just give them weapons and watch a war break out. But there was one cheat amongst them all for pedestrians that really set it off. And that was chaos mode. You'd even see pedestrians running out of retail shops with TVs as well. So much stuff was happening at once and honestly, I think some of these cheats, like, they need to be in some of the modern GTA titles, man. These are so good. Like, Rockstar just really went the extra mile when it came to cheats in this game. And that's why I think this game has some of the best cheats ever. I don't think any of the other GTA games really compare. Overall, these are just some of the awesome cheats that I enjoyed in GTA San Andreas. There's so many other ones to go through and they're, they're so fun, but I just wanted to capture some of the highlights and hopefully some of you guys can relate to this as well. And yeah, like some of the modern GTA titles, they've got some good cheats like GTA 5, GTA 4. They've got some good ones, but honestly, I think GTA San Andreas really sets the bar. And that's pretty crazy to say because we're now pretty much 20 years almost after San Andreas and yeah let's just hope GTA 6 really delivers with the cheats in the game. Now maybe I do have a bit of bias here with my nostalgia to GTA San Andreas maybe crowding my judgment but I really do think this game has the best cheats. They were just so fun you could spend so much time just messing around and doing different combinations with cheats and seeing everything unfold it was just so good. And therefore I have to say, if you have not played GTA San Andreas, like the original version, I highly recommend you give it a go and have fun with some of these cheats because like I said, a lot of these cheats were removed with the Definitive Edition, which really sucks because obviously the Definitive Edition of San Andreas and the other two titles were very underwhelming. Even just if they had like these cheats, I would be a lot happier with the games. It's really messed up with how much we've gotten away with in these Definitive Editions. But I want to hear from you guys, what were some of your favourite cheats from GTA San Andreas? Or other GTAs if you didn't play it? Let's share a bit of childhood nostalgia or good memories because we all love it. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not subscribe and like the video? It would really mean a lot as it helps grow my channel so I can keep making these videos. Until next time though, take care.